My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up a vendor in Acumatica ERP. The structure and format of vendor IDs is defined by the vendor segmented key. That is, the system allows users to create a vendor record only if its ID matches the vendor segmented key. By default, this segmented key consists of a single segment of 10 symbols. To define the the, uh, the desired structure for vendor IDs, users have to create a numbering sequence and then specify it for the vendor segmented key. So first, let's create the numbering sequence on the numbering sequences form. So we go to configuration, common settings, common settings again, numbering sequences. So here I have pulled up the vendor numbering, vendor num. Uh, numbering ID. Uh, you can create your own or edit the existing. Um, as you can see, the start number here is V, I think followed by nine zeros and then a one. Um, you can do maybe V00001 or you can do VEN001. All depends on how many vendors you expect to have. Um, and the numbering step here defines the value the system adds to the number part of the numbering sequence. So here we start with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and we go up by 1 and you see the net the last number was 4 so we have four vendors currently and here you can set a number in which you'll get a warning that you'll run out of vendor numbers. So once you're done you click save at the top here Um, when the new numbering sequence is created, it isn't applied to any objects because it's not specified in the segmented keys. So let's go to the segmented keys form right above here under segmented keys. Um, you'll see I have the key ID for vendor pulled up. You see the other ones here. There's a customer. There's a salesperson ID as well. And right here at the numbering ID, you specify the sequence that you just created. So in this case, the vendor num from numbering sequences is added right here. Um, and then, um, so after you specify that, um, you go down here to the bottom and you click the plus sign to add a row. And here's where you can add your the info about your different segments. Um, so here we can select the auto number checkbox to uh, automatically increment uh, as we create new vendors. Um, the length of the numbering sequence right here um, must be equal to the segment length. length. So then go back to numbering ID here or numbering sequences. You'll see that you'll enter in a specific number of uh, characters and in this case it's 10 here if we go back here it's also 10 here so those two numbers have to match the edit mask um, you for Unicode that means you can use numbers um, letters symbols special characters like the percent sign or the ampersand and here case conversion uh, uppercase will convert all lowercase letters to uppercase um, and we do not need validation um, because we are auto numbering. So once you have set that up, you are ready to add new vendors. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at or via phone at 312 345 8800.